Hello, Jenny. You're in the microphone, right? Ah, no, no es Jenny. ¿Quién es? Rosa María. Quiero ver. Ana María. Ana María. Ajá. Ana María. Hello, ok. Va de camino. Yes. Ok. Solo usted está en la clase de ahí nadie. Eso veo, teacher. <laughs> Le voy a avisar en el chat ahorita que están, que estamos aquí, Dios mío, yo creo que se les olvidó, o por ser que no se van a incorporar, Dios mío, así se les avisó temprano que iba a haber este clase. Titer y mañana va a haber clase. Ah, perdón. No. El, o sea, toda la semana. Sí, mañana. No, lo que pasa es que yo tengo que trabajar mañana, por eso ando pensando que, que todavía es viernes o algo así. Okay, termina. Ya les estoy poniendo aquí en el chat. No es, no vienen. Bueno, ya. Ok. No se conectarán. I don't know, be, pero les avisamos que iba a haber clases y lo que se retrasó de martes a viernes. Ajá. Se retrasó porque no tuvimos el lunes por la disposición de la... De la, la suspensión. Uh -huh, la suspensión, pero hoy es, hoy es la que tocaría ayer. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Bueno, si sí, solo hay una, una vamos a hacer. <risa> ok. Va a ser la suertuda de tener clase personalizada. Uh -huh. Ah, mucho mejor, teacher. Pues sí. Así me aclara dudas, teacher, que yo he andado un poco, bueno, como no me conecté dos días, entonces ahí ando un poco perdida con, 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 con lo que estamos viendo ahorita Ajá. Todo con, con el con la, la, la con, con las pruebas que, que nos ponen creo que del 1.8 algo así que, que tiene que ver con el infinitivo Ajá. esa parte no me queda muy clara eh, porque eh, vi unos videos y en unos casos le ponen for en otros tú entonces cuál es yo entiendo que es Tú. Ajá. Y el, y el verbo, como el verbo normal, o sea, to play, por ejemplo. Así es. O estoy es, equivocada. Sí, cuando es to play, es el, la forma base form que le llaman, ¿verdad? Porque ah, ajá, es decir, ajá. solamente del puro verbo. Entonces, eh, pero en inglés se le pone to. No se dice solo play, sino que es to play. O to sea, play. eso significa jugar, ¿verdad? Si es uh -huh. de juego, si no es como reproducir, to play the video, reproducir el video. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, y el, y esa parte del infinitivo entonces, teacher, ¿cuál es? Es que todavía no me ubico de cuál me está preguntando, porque no Ay. hemos visto ese. No, yo sé, me imaginé que ahora lo íbamos a ver, pero como eh, pidieron que hasta el 2, creo, de de la plataforma, de contenidos. Lo tengamos, ah. sí, que lo tengamos hasta hoy. Ah, vaya, ahorita nos Entonces, toca el 1.1. El 1.1 nos toca hoy, que es Turn Down the TV. Este, otra vez, es el two-word verb, ¿verdad? Otra phrasal verb, que es Turn Down, es apagar. Apagar el televisor. Uh -huh. O bájale al televisor, Turn Down. Así, Turn Off es apagar. Y Turn Down es este que le baje al TV, ¿verdad? Me imagino que es algo de... Es como un request, ¿verdad? Sí, te, request. Eh, puede, puede que me desconecte un ratito porque voy a pasar por donde está un penal y a veces bloquean la señal, pero a veces no. Por si me desconecto, ya en el ratito me voy a volver a conectar. 
Ah, ok, vaya, vinieron. Isaiah, Crossio, okay. Jose, and Catherine, ok. <laughs> Did you forget today we are having the class? Or just, no. are you late? <laughs> I'm late. Oh, you're it's late. For my oh, ok. Sorry. Ok, no problem. Okay, we were discussing uh, with yeah. I saw you are uh, I saw you are you are late. Yeah, because I was oh my god, did they forgot forget that today we had class? Because normally we are not because it's Friday, it's free. But because we began on Tuesday because of uh, Monday, Monday was was not a uh, allowed to give class because of the government's disposition because of the weather so today would be the the normal thursday that we are having okay don't uh, we have to cover a lot of uh, material because as you see on the whatsapp group uh, we have uh, to cover until unit two including your exams and homeworks so I have to uh, cover this topic so you can have uh, all the material for uh, making the homework. So we, today we will be seeing turn down the TV. That is another phrasal verb. You know what is turn down? ¿Qué significa turn down? Bajarle, bajarle, bajarle al, al televisor, ¿verdad? Bajarle al volumen. Bajarle al volumen. Entonces, este, vamos a oír el videito de la chica acá que nos está explicando. A ver qué nos tiene que decir. TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. Oh. I know, but it's fair. Ya habíamos visto esto, ¿verdad? Sí, ya lo habíamos visto. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Let me look for the other one. Yes, let me see. Turn down the TV. 1.2. To finish. We finished, Next. right? To perfect. Ajá, ya lo habíamos visto. Next to one. Yes. Y porque se supuestamente es knowledge check, ya habíamos hecho esto o no. Knowledge yeah. check. Ah, este había sido homework. Sí, individual. Correcto. Yes, did, you, did you solve it? Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes, teacher. Va, entonces aquí vamos a 1.5. In this class you will notice the stress patterns in request with two part verbs. Creo que este era de Ruth y Kate, ¿verdad? Quiero ver. Vamos a ver cuál es esta. Ah, sí, ya lo habíamos visto, el carirado. Ya lo habíamos visto también. Participants will practice making requests. Ah, los models también, los gerunds. Estamos viendo Would You Mind. Ajá, ese lo habíamos visto. We're sorry, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Ajá, este lo hicimos ayer. Ayer estábamos traduciendo, ¿verdad? Una, esta, ajá, en esta nos quedamos ayer. Vaya, entonces vamos a ver las palabras, ¿verdad? Que estábamos viendo ayer, ayer traducimos todo, entonces ya sabemos más o menos qué toca con qué, hay que hacer como una match. We have to match the word with the possible explanation of this word. So resentment, what could be resentment? Anger that grows over time. Anger. Anger. Anger okay. that grows. Mm, maybe. Maybe, or maybe can be a way of behaving. Maybe. Okay. So let me see. Deliberately. Deliberately. 
¿no? Do you agree with me? Deliberately is on purpose. No, um, anger that grows over time. Anger. Anger. That. Mm. What What grows. does it mean deliberately in Spanish? Uh, como deliberado, creo. Ah, deliberadamente, porque termina en mm -hmm. li es un adverbio, entonces ah, es okay. gente. Entonces, ¿qué es algo hacer? ¿Qué es hacer algo deliberadamente? Como sin pensarlo. Uh -huh, como a propósito, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá, entonces, on purpose. On purpose. Let's see. Vale, de la primera dijeron que era resentment. Anger that grows over the time. Right? Yes, ajá, yes. Vale, <laughs> entonces, <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> number three, number three, irritate. Mm -hmm. What could be irritate? <laughs> bother or bother or annoy. Annoy. Bother or annoy. Yes. And then number four, measure. I step taken in order to uh, achieve some time. Something. Something. I step taking in order achieve, to achieve something, okay? Achieve something. Mm -hmm. Achieve something. Okay. Every The rest is agree with, with her. Measure is a step taken in order to achieve something. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Number five, manner. What could be manner? A way, a way of behaving. behaving. A way of behaving. Okay. Okay. Now, resolve. What is resolve? And a problem or difficulty. And the problem or difficulty. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we are. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is okay. Okay, 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 okay. We got all of them correct, okay? So resentment is resentimiento. Anger is eh, ira, cólera. That grows over time, que crece a través del tiempo. O sea, cuando uno está resentido es porque no de, de así, de un ratito, ¿verdad? Sino que se fue resintiendo con el tiempo. Creó cólera con el tiempo. Derive, deliberately. Deliberadamente significa a propósito. That is on purpose. Irritate. Irritar. Bother es molestar o annoy es como sacar de quicio. Annoy. For, measure, es medir. Measure, medir, el verbo. Es un paso tomado en orden de al, eh, lograr algo. Achieve es lograr, lograr algo. Manner, manera. Una forma de actuar, de esos behaving, actuar. Resolve, resolver. And a problem or dif difficulty. Terminar un problema o dificultad. O sea, resolverlo. Ok, everything is clear. No questions. Eh, teacher. Uh -huh. um, en el 1.4. Los resolví, pero el 8 uh -huh. es, es the book. Es el único que me... Ya vale. todos están... Bueno, solo es ese, pero no me lo acepta. Ah, ok, pero quiero ver. Vamos a seguir con la lección y ya vamos a llegar al 1.8. Es ah, ah 1.4, perdón. Ah, vaya, entonces, no, este, pero a mí no me sale el 1.4, porque este es el 1. Punto... Pero a ver, pero es que, ajá, es que las tareas van en otro orden. Ajá. Ah, pues no falta llegar ahí. No falta. Ya vamos a llegar porque ya casi. 
Okay. Ya casi vamos a llegar. Bueno, ahorita estamos con... In this class, you will practice using infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. En esta clase practicarán usando infinitivos y gerundios para usos y propósitos. Dice, excuse me. Yes. Ya pasamos el 1.4. Ya pasamos. Dije en, en la sección anterior, es el que íbamos a llenar individualmente, pero quizás hay ah, el de las difícil. fotitos. Sí. Mm, yo pensé que iba en orden esto. Let me see. Este ya lo habíamos hecho. Pero eso hace un montón que lo vimos. Es tipo martes que lo vimos un miércoles por ahí. 1.4. Este. Are you talking about it? Yes. Oh, I see. Pero okay. en el number four. En el ocho. Uh -huh. Ah, number eight. Okay. Uh -huh. Exercise en el ocho. Please take yeah. out. The garbage. Yes. Ajá. Eso, eso puso. Eh, eh, please take out is the boobs. No, that is not correct. It's the garbage. Ah, Porque take okay. out es sacar. Please take out, por favor, saca la basura. Ah, es este como se supone que es uno por cada, un dibujito por cada uno. Entonces, uh -huh. y era el único. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Yeah. Please take out the, the garbage. Uh -huh. Ahí es como que los tiene que ir descontando, ¿verdad? Los que ya hizo. Ajá. Así, Exacto. Ajá. ajá. Entonces, pero aquí es take out the garbage. Ah, ok. I'm Thank not you. putting the, uh, the show requests, show res uh, responses, because I will do it for the rest. <laughs> And I know some of you have not done this already. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh -huh. So oh, yes. I, I will give you copy, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> ah, es que se repite esa dos veces. Ah, ok. Bueno. Por eso. Ya le, uh -huh. ya le dio un, una tip, un, un consejo. <laughs> esa sale dos veces. Ya les ayudamos con una. Yes. Thank okay, you, teacher. You're welcome. Let me see, uh, I'm going a little bit quick because we were infinitives and gerunds. What is infinitive, kids? So plus verb. No, infinitives is the verb in the form normal. Base form, yes. The base form. Uh -huh. And gerund? Yeah. The verb plus ing. Exactly, gerund or ing form. Okay, so let's watch the video to see what are they talking about. Hi, welcome. Join us in this new section. We're about to explain that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. As said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change. What changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. 
took all my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerund, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending emails, nor I use my computer for send emails. Okay, so do you see the difference when we are using infinitives and gerunds? Infinitives are with two. Computer. Viste bien la diferencia? El two send emails. Pero si ocupamos el gerund, le ponemos el ing al verbo y le ponemos for. I use my computer to send emails. Yo uso mi computadora para enviar correos electrónicos. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Yo uso mi computadora para enviar correos electrónicos. Significa lo mismo. Solo que en una se ocupa la forma infinitiva con la partícula tú, con la preposición. Y en la otra se ocupa el gerund con for, for sending. But they are the same. Computers are often used to pay bills. Computers, las computadoras, a menudo se usan para pagar cuentas o facturas, recibos. Computers are often used for paying bills. Computers are often used, eh, las computadoras a menudo se usan, a menudo son usadas para pagar cuentas. Sí, Ana María, do you have any question? Y... ¿Y cómo, cómo saber en qué momento se va a usar con el fin, infinitivo y con de forma normal? Si significa lo como mismo. Usted lo, como usted prefiera, en el momento que usted quiera. Solo que tiene que tener cuidado que si ocupa el infinitivo tiene que ser to. Y si uh -huh. ocupa el gerund tiene que ser for. Pero lo puede ocupar en cualquiera de las dos maneras. Uh -huh. No importa. Uh -huh. Siempre lo ocupe bien, pues está bien. Okay, any other question, kids? No? No, okay. Solo con el for se puede usar el infinitivo o puede ser otra, ¿cómo Solo se llaman eso? Preposición. Solo el for. Ah, preposición. Uh -huh. Ok. Es en español, a ah, hacia hasta para por sin según sobre tras, ¿verdad? Entonces, por es preposición también en inglés. Por y para. En uno eh, podría ser por y en el otro podría ser para, ¿verdad? El que más se ocupa por es for. Pero aquí los dos significan para. Los dos significan para. Mejor pásense en, en el infinitivo y el gerundio, porque si lo tratan de traducir como significa lo mismo, ahí es donde no van a saber qué poner en cada espacio. Ok. Supuestamente tenemos que cubrir hasta el 2, hasta el 2, ¿verdad? Y miren, vamos por el 2.2. <ríe> But I know uh, alguna persona ya hizo este, creo. Creo que Ana María, este es el que me estaba preguntando, ¿verdad, Ana María? Yes, teacher. Okay, so we will be practicing with this. Okay. Instructions. Complete the phrases by selecting either an infinitive or a gerund. Bye. Satellites are used to study the world's weather. To study the world's weather. For to study the world's weather. What could be the answer? To study the world's weather. Why? And Why that? Because it's an infinity to plus the verb in base form. Mm -hmm. Perfect. El último sí. no es porque lleva el for y el to. 
Correcto, y, y el tú no se ocupa con el ING, ¿verdad? Dijimos que era el for, entonces tampoco es la segunda. Entonces es la uno, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, understood, Ana María. <laughs> yes, teacher. Ok, you see, it's very easy. Very easy. Sí, 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 ya lo entiendo. <laughs> But, number two, robots are sometimes used. Number one, for, for perform dangerous tasks. Number one, and number two, to performing dangerous tasks. And number three, for performing dangerous tasks. What could be the answer? For performing dangerous tasks. For performing task. dangerous tasks. Exactly. That is the answer. Number three. You can use a cell phone. Letter A. Sending text messages. To send text messages. Send text messages. What could be the answer? Mm -hmm. To send, send text messages. Text message. Exactly. Number two. Number four. People use the internet for making travel reservation, for make travel reservations, making travel reservations. What could be the answer? For making travel reservations. Exactly, letter A. DNA, what is a DNA? Do you know what is DNA? I don't know. You don't know? DNA is like ADN in Spanish. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. DNA is ADN in Spanish. Es lo mismo, solo que he dicho en inglés, DNA. Okay, so DNA fingerprinting. ¿Qué significa eso? What is fingerprinting? Las huellas dactilares. Las huellas dactilares, exactamente. Las huellas dactilares que son únicas en cada ser humano. Okay, DNA fingerprinting is used, letter A, to identify criminals. Letter B, for identify criminals. Letter C, to identify criminals. Is the same of letter A. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, criminals, this is. Criminals. <laughs> know what yeah. is criminals, okay. What could be the answer? To identify um, criminals. Yes, correct. Las huellas dactilares se ocupan para detectar criminales. Ok. Number six. CD-ROM are used. Letter A. Storing an encyclopedia. Letter B. For stores an encyclopedia. And letter C. For storing an encyclopedia. A encyclopedia. What could be the answer? For storing an encyclopedia. Yes, that would be the answer. Yeah, okay, let's see if we are correct. Hmm. Correct, 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 correct. Okay, we got it all of them correct. You see, it's very easy, Ana Maria. Yes, teacher. Very easy, okay, let me see. Next. We will be advancing a lot mm. because se supone que hasta el 2 tenemos que cubrir hoy. Miren, ya el 2.3, vamos ahora. <laughs> we will, um, maybe we can use uh, an extra time for phrasal verbs if you have more questions or do you want to practice them more? Because I know that topic, it would be, it was uh, really hard for you. It, it is not easy. Sometimes a... Uh, uh, it is not easy to, to know all of the meanings. Because it's 8.30 right now. We have a half an hour to continue, but we are very advanced. So we already did, or is supposed we already did all of the quizzes that we have for this week. So, or do you want to continue? Or do you want to ask questions or see another thing that is about uh, the, 
that is about phrasal verbs. No? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue then. Participants will notice and practice stress in words with more than two syllables. Los participantes se darán cuenta y practicarán uh, la fuerza de voz en palabras con más de dos sílabas. So, teacher, yes. Excuse me. Uh, uh, can you explain me in in WhatsApp? I write okay on the way, but uh -huh. you, am I correct? The, the the right to say on my way. Sí, porque es como que se usa on my way. Voy como de camino, pero en mi camino. O sea, on ah. the way es que va en un camino, pero ¿cuál camino? Pues, <ríe> o sea, ah, okay. on my way is a specific. You're, you're uh, specifying from your journey from one place to another one, you are advancing. But if you say only on the way, a saber, quizá viene de a saber a dónde. <ríe> Está en okay. el camino. Entonces, on my way, si, si ustedes contestan, por ejemplo, alguien le dice en la, eh, por ejemplo, el jefe les pregunta, ¿verdad? Que todos tienen que llenar un formulario, por ejemplo. Entonces, ustedes pueden decir, working on it, trabajando en ello, o pueden decir, on my way to solve it. O sea, que están, que, están de, que están ya por, en eso, pues, que ya lo van a resolver. O sea, un my way, de, acuérdense que my way es, es como también en mi forma, en mi manera, que ya lo están haciendo. O sea, por eso es my way. Ok, thank o, you. Ok, you can use another uh, positive. Yeah. For now, like, if, if you know, for example, we are in class, but you know I say it is coming to class. And you're mm -hmm. saying, oh, teacher, Isaac texted me and said he's on his way. Mm. He is on his way. O sea, he's yeah. his. So lo que uh -huh. dice es, él está de camino. Mm -hmm. He is on his way. Or if you know a group of people, they are on their way. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you use the possessive, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Ok, so, participantes se darán cuenta y practicarán la fuerza de voz en palabras con más de dos sílabas. O sea, stress es como el acento. Pero acuérdense que ellos no tienen acento tilde. O sea, nosotros le decimos acento, pero en realidad es solo una tilde. Pero el acento es fonético. Ese es el verdadero acento. Pronunciation, syllable stress. El acento de las sílabas. Pronunciation. Syllable stress. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Where is the stress in these words? Can you pronounce them? Okay, let's do this exercise. Uh, number one, can you please make it um, Isaac? I don't know, teacher. How do you pronounce? Do you do you know how you don't know how to pronounce it, the the first one? No. Can you help me, please? 
Yes, of course. Okay, let's let's ask Jenny. Can you help I say it? Okay, I, I, but language? Languages. Uh, languages? Uh -huh. Understand? No, 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 only one. Oh, only one, okay. Languages. Okay, where is the stress? Uh, in land. Okay, perfect. Languages. Did you understand, Isaac? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you pronounce languages. the second one? What? The second one. Can you pronounce the second one? Understand. Exactly. Where is the stress? Um, uh, no sé. <laughs> la primera. No. Ahí la siento más. En la segunda. Mm -mm. Okay. Is the last one is understand. The last one, understand. When you say, did you understand? It's at the end. Okay. When you don't know where is the stress going, you have to practice understand. No, that is not. Understand. No, it is not. Understand. Oh, that is the one. Okay. Okay, uh, Elena. Robot, robot, uh, robotics. Exactly. What is the stress? Bow. Mm -hmm. In the middle. In the middle. Exactly. Okay. Now let's go with Ana Maria. Next one. Telephone. Mm -hmm. What is the stress? Is the first one, yes, telephone. Okay, okay. Now, Rocio, can you please help us with the other one? Rocio, are you there? No. It's not there. Okay, let's move to Catherine. Are you there, Catherine? Yes. Okay, can you yeah. please pronounce the, the, the next one? Transmission. Yes, perfect. What is the stress? Um, Shion? No, that is the Chance. Spanish. No. Try, try each one. Transmission, no. Transmission, mm. Transmission, which one could be? Me. Trans exactly, the middle, the middle Trans one. Ah. Transmission, okay, perfect. Now, Jose Jonathan. Jose Jonathan, are you there? No, no, it's not. Very good. Can you repeat with me? Languages, telephone, transmission, robotics, understand, VCR. You see, VCR is not VCR, it's not VCR, it's VCR. It's at the end, as she, as she said. Yes, it's trouble. Teacher, uh, in the word understand or understand? What is the question? And what is, oh, oh, what is that the correct pronunciation word? But I hear understand and understand. Uh, sometimes people say under, uh, understand. 
it is but it's not it's not on the beginning it's at the end understand mm. Mm -hmm. it's at the end but it's understand exactly mm -hmm. not understand it's like between the a uh, is is between a and a uh. uh -huh. understand mm -hmm. mm, okay thank you okay 2.5 in this session you will practice a conversation about using a cell phone see imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions in context en esta sesión practicarán una conversación sobre el uso de celulares observe imperativos e infinitivos para dar sugerencias dentro de un contexto Let me see. Can I borrow your cell phone? You remember that we saw the land. Can you lend me? Me puedes prestar. Pero cuando lo estoy usando con I, se ocupa borrow. Can I borrow your cell phone? Te puedo prestar tu celular. Okay, let's listen to the video. Hi again, listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh good, it's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voice with it. You're right. It's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Okay, but let's I listen again. And don't forget to boss. I can't believe you still. At the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voice with it. You're right. It's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Okay, let's read it um, slowly. Jenny, can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Richard, I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Jenny, thanks. Now, what do I need to do? Richard, first of all, be sure to turn it on. 
and don't forget to dial the area code. Jenny, okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. Richard, that's because you haven't pressed the call button. Jenny, oh good, it's ringing. Richard, try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Jenny, you're right, it's a recording. Richard, make sure to hit the end button or else you leave our conversation on his voicemail. Okay, do you understand what are they talking about? Kids? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Only yeah. It's <laughs> yes, I understand. <laughs> yeah, complete answers. That's okay. Okay. So okay. Let's solve the questions. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who owns the phone? On the bus? No. What is O? Ah. Oh, who owns the phone? Te estoy preguntando ahí, who owns the phone? Who owns the phone? Who owns the phone? Owns is always, always, always. Mm -hmm. Who owns the phone? Como que quién era el teléfono. Ajá, ¿de quién es el teléfono? O usa es pertenecer. ¿A quién le pertenece el teléfono? ¿De quién es el teléfono? De Richard. De Richard, el teléfono es de Richard. Ajá, ¿y quién se lo está prestando? Jenny. Ajá, ok. Who are they calling? Who are they calling? The boss of Jenny. The boy, yeah, the boss of Jenny, okay, or Jenny's boss. That is the other way to answer Jenny's boss, okay. What's the first thing to do? What's the first thing to do? ¿Qué le dice él que tiene que hacer primero? Re remember the call, the, the area? The area code, yes, the area code, okay. To put the area code. What should the woman press? What should the woman press? Call button. Mm -hmm. On the buttons, okay. If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Listen. Okay, let's translate exactly the conversation. Jenny, ¿qué significa can I borrow your phone to call my boss? ¿Podrías prestarme tu teléfono para llamar a mi jefe? No, what is oh. can? What is can? Poder. Uh -huh. Entonces, el podrías que es could. Acuérdense. Ah, ¿puedes, puedes, prestarme, ¿Puedes prestarme tu teléfono para llamar a mi jefe? Exactly. Richard, I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. ¿Qué le contesta Richard? No puedo creer que todavía no tengas teléfono. Eh, mm. oh, here you go. ¿Qué lo tienes? Exacto. Jenny, thanks. Now, what do I need to do? Mm -hmm. Gracias. Ahora, ¿qué tengo que hacer? Mm -hmm. First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. What is first of all? I understood that it is primero que que todo, primero que uh -huh. nada. Primero que todo, ajá. Uh -huh. Be sure to turn it on. Turn it on, is that... Be sure to turn it on. Estar segura, está... 
de encendido. Exacto, entonces nos equivocamos, no es marcar el área code. La primera cosa que hay que hacer es ver que está encendido. Sí. Ajá, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ok, then don't forget to dial the area code. Ajá, ¿qué le dice? No olvides. El, el código de área. No, y no, ajá, marcar, ah, dial. Marcar. And don't forget to dial the area code. Y no te olvides marcar el código de área. Ok. Ok. And I can see the number. But I can't hear anything. <laughs> ok. Puedo ver el número, pero no escucho a nadie. Nada. Pero no, ¿qué? Pero no, no escucho. Hear. But I can't. Hear anything. I can't. Ah, pero no. No puedo. Uh -huh. No puedo. Pero no puedo escuchar, escuchar a nadie. Escuchar a nada. Nada. Any, ah. uh -huh. Anything. Nada. Okay. okay. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Uh -huh. ¿Qué le está contestando él? Es porque no ha presionado el botón de llamar. Exacto. Jenny le dice, oh, good, it's ringing. Oh, bueno, está sonando. Está sonando, ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces Richard le dice, try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Trata de no alegrarte. Probablemente te enviará el buzón de voz. voicemail. De uh -huh. buzón de voz. Uh -huh. Probablemente te va a enviar a su buzón de voz. Uh -huh. Ahora, Jenny, you're right. It's a recording. ¿Qué dice ahí? Tenías razón. Ajá. Está. Tienes, no tenías. You're right. No, tienes. Okay. Tienes razón. Está. Grabando. No. It is a recording. ¿Qué es eso? Ah. ¿Estás sonando? No. I don't, I don't know. Recording is a gerund. It's a gerund. Es una grabación. Recording es grabación. Ok. Uh -huh. Es una grabación, le dice. Tienes razón. Es una grabación, le dice. Uh -huh. No todo, cada vez que veamos el ING, no necesariamente es un verbo en, en forma de ING, sino que esto es un nombre. Recording. Fishing es pescar. No es pescando. O sea, puede ser pescar y pescando, dependiendo del contexto. Ahora, Richard. Make sure to hit the end button or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. ¿Qué le está diciendo? Make sure. Make sure to hit. Make sure es asegúrate. Que al finalizar. To hit bueno. es to hit. Ah. Presionar. Asegúrate de presionar. ¿Qué va a presionar? El botón de apagado. El botón end. Ajá. O. Tú. O tú puedes salir. O si no. Ajá. Or else. O si no. You leave. What is leave? Fuera al salir. No. <risa> no. You leave uh, our conversation. Vas a dejar. Ah. Grabada. No vas a dejar nuestra conversación. Puedes dejar un mensaje de voz. O puedes grabar no. un mensaje de voz. No. And button. Or else you leave our conversation on his voicemail. O sea, acuérdense que está llamando y estaba de llamar. Hay un momento en el que se acaba la llamada y le dice, no está, te voy a dejar después del tono. Entonces, mientras ellos sigue hablando, la llamada sigue. Entonces, ella le dice, él le dice, mira, asegúrate de ella terminar la llamada o si no, vas a dejar nuestra conversación en su, en su, en su mensaje, de, en su buzón de voz. Que se sigan hablando y no apagan la llamada que ya hicieron, 
le van a dejar lo que están hablando ellos dos en, el, en, el, en, el, en, la, en la grabadora, ¿verdad? Ok, understood. Yes. Ok. Yes. We have to improve our translation. Because we are forgetting, asumimos que estamos viendo lo que no está diciendo. Porque el can no es podía, es puede. O sea, tienen que fijarse bien qué es lo que está diciendo. Ok. At the end of this session, I think it's going to put another bit. But at the end of this session, you will understand how to use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Yeah, it's another video. Hello, everyone. Before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we we'll use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check at the beginning, we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember, try. Voy a detener un ratito aquí para que vean exactamente qué es lo que estamos haciendo. Estamos indi dando indicaciones. Por ejemplo, es be sure. Lo que está diciendo ella es que no se pone un sustantivo antes de. Solo son indicaciones. Aquí es be sure, asegúrate. Make sure, asegúrate también. Don't forget, no te olvides. Remember. Recuerda, try, trata. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so I think it's a lot. This video is a little bit long. So we will uh, play it again tomorrow. And we will be discussing this uh, in a longer way to you, for you to be clear and to be not confused about imperatives. Imperativo es como, como que está usted dando a como a una, es una orden, pero no es una orden en realidad, sino que es como una sugerencia, una sugerencia. Esos son los imperatives. So, we have ended the week. Thanks for attending the class and we will see you normally on Monday, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you for coming for class and enjoy your weekend, cheese.
Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.